That's right, you're listening to IPL Radio on this wonderful Thursday morning. It is Anzac Day here in Australia. Uh, respect to all current and past serving service men and women. Um, that was beautiful, Roy Orbison. I love, I love so beautiful. I love Roy Orbison. He's actually one of my favourite singers. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, of course, today I wasn't going down the 80s track today. I wanted to play songs that had the word beautiful in it, and it's been a beautiful day. Beautiful day, <laughs> beautiful. yes. I've now got a very special guest on the phone with me at the moment. Is the boss and the founder of IPL Radio, or IPL, actually Inspire inspiring community is it community services uh Trish, are you there yeah i'm here yeah what's the what's Thanks the, for having me on it, what's <laughs> is it inspiring community services uh, it's inspire community services inspire yeah. community services which ipl radio yeah. uh, uh, runs with as well now today is particularly a very important day for inspire because what what's the important day today Trish? So our first broadcast, as uh, back then it was Inspire Radio, was on Anzac Day in 2020. So wow. uh, today's our fourth anniversary of broadcasting. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Tell, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you. Think we'd you. be here still, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. It was r- a long way. Like we've come so far in the last four years. I'm really proud of you know of our journey and, and the technology that we picked up on. Um, and learn from over the last four years means that we can do so much more than we could back then. Yeah, definitely. Tell us the story behind why you started it and why uh, we started broadcasting. So, so my background's mental health training. I was doing, I was really busy 2019 and the beginning of 2020, I was really busy. Um, but then COVID hit and I realised um, I was actually doing a course when when there was um, a lot of news about COVID hitting and you know, I, I've been around the SARS stuff before, so, you know, I kind of watched the news and thought, oh, yeah, there's just another one like that. Um, and one of the people in the course was um, a nurse, and she said it's not come out yet, but um, in the hospital sector, they're really kind of um, quite scared about the possibilities of what's going to happen with COVID. Um, so I kind of took it seriously from from that moment on. Um, and obviously, we weren't allowed to do training with COVID face to face. That was all out. So, um, you know, we kind of, I kind of had a choice to either just sit and wait until things went back to normal, or to try and do something else. Um, and um, at that time, there was an organisation in the UK that was advertising. You know, you can have a radio station, and it's they tried to make it pretty easy. They did a lot of videos mm. on YouTube. Um, about how how it works, and I, I, you know, kind of watched a lot of their videos to see how they run it, um, and it did appear to me that it, you know it was possible for someone to run a radio station um, because of technology fairly easily, mm-hmm. um, fairly easily, fairly. Um, <laughs> which is, <laughs> um, but you know, quite um, in terms of finances as well, it's quite affordable. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So there was a group of us that got together and said, yeah, let's do this. So we went to um, a lot of places like Store DJ, um, bought a lot of equipment. And the funny thing is that when, if you remember back in the early days, everyone was after toilet roll. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, once they'd got all that sorted, the next thing that everyone bought was microphones. <laughs> um, <laughs> microphones, webcams, and uh, mixers. Oh, that, that was, gosh. yeah, we had to wait months for them to come in oh, because no. they were so out of stock. It was a crazy yeah. time. <laughs> we, perfect time. Everyone had the same idea, right? Because even if you weren't looking at doing a podcast or YouTube, um, everyone wanted to go on Zoom so they could still communicate. People. Correct, correct. So, you know, microphones, um, headphones, mm-hmm. computers, mixers, that they were really... Um, yeah, wow. Everyone was buying those. Oh, you there? Yeah, yeah, sorry, oh, sorry. yeah. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it was, it was um, a time where, yeah, it was, it was a crazy... And good, good job you didn't wait. Yeah. Because we're, mm. we're still sort of getting out of that... Um, mm. well, no, because it was sort of, it was just two years. We were very lucky here in Australia, by the way. Yeah. We didn't really lock down as such here in WA. We had a few times that we did for two or three days. But I, I think it's the thing with us, though, is that the one thing that we normally hate 
the fact that we're the most isolated city in the world <laughs> actually went in our favour. It did. It really did. Yeah. It really did because we, we were very, very, lu- very lucky here in WA, even more so mm. than the Eastern States. Yeah. Um, we, Absolutely. We, and we, they were getting lots of COVID stuff and we were still in lockdown. We were still, we, you know, Mike McGowan and his team, they did a good, whether you like him or not, they, yeah. they did a they good job. They certainly did. Safe, they certainly I did. I agree. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Um, yeah, so good job you didn't wait. So so back in those days, when you did start it, you weren't in a studio, by the way, were you? Where did you start? No, so so we were in someone's uh, spare bedroom. <laughs> um, oh, wow. So our, our tech guy, he set up, and he had a very complicated system. So he used um, Mac and a PC all connected together and two mixers. Um, so it was confusing. Um, and unfortunately, there was an issue. I don't know what it was, but something hadn't been pressed. <clears throat> and uh, when we went out on our first day, um, we actually sounded like chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I've still got the recording somewhere. I oh, you should it out. release it. You should definitely release it. Did you, yeah. you? You did some interviews that day. Who was your very first interview? I remember you talking about it the other day. Um, I think the very first one was. Um, I think the very first one was Reese Whitby. Okay. Um, who's the uh, member for Baldivis. And mm-hmm. his that was quite um, concerning because his background is media. Oh. So he used to be a radio presenter. Oh, TV no. Presenter. And he sounded like a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> was, he actually, so we, uh, was he actually in the spare bedroom doing the interview? No, no, it was oh, all phone because awesome we, we couldn't have people coming in. No, of so course. it was all phone. Oh, no. Um, we also had someone from Open Arms that does counselling for veterans. Oh, lovely. Um, we played a um, a very dramatic interview uh, with a veteran. I think it went on for about an hour or so. And Gosh. it was um, it was very moving. I mm. think he actually broke down and cried in the interview Aww. as well. It was, yeah. Um, and then we had an interview with Madeline King. Okay. So our first our first day was pretty packed. Yeah, full on. Then hang on, but that's a whole day. I do that in three hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we were we were there from like nine o'clock. I think we finished at three. Okay. Um, so we went on the whole day, um, and then three o'clock. Did was it just yeah. one presenter, or did a number of you ran a table? No, there was there was three of us. Oh, there was three. Okay. Um, yeah. And so there you... was three. There was myself, um, Rob, who was um, our tech guy, and, and Mark. Nice. Um, so and then you... Caroline joined in as well. Did you sign off as well, or did, were you 24-7? Or... No. So back in the beginning, we only broadcasted from, I think it was 9 till 3, okay. Monday to Friday. Mm-hmm. And, was um, it, was and it was it... only... Go on. Um, it was only when we moved to the studio that we started um you know broadcasting more live mm. because we had a lot more people as soon as we had a premises um, we got inundated with people that wanted to join yeah and of course you started off because of mental health um mm. and that has continued on until this day obviously because on my shows about mental health um mm. which is fantastic because that's to me that's what inspire radio is is well, mental health. It needs yeah. to be addressed. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so I'm glad that you have continued that on. Um, but back in those days, was it was it music as well or just, just talking? No, it was music as well. Okay. Um, we, we were still kind of live. Well, we, we were broadcasting all the time, but we had like a backup playlist. Okay. Um, that was just, we had a bunch of songs in the, in the library and then the computer just automated the songs. Yep. Um, but we were just live for like six hours, I think it was at the beginning. Oh, and and how much has it changed from that from that first day to now? I mean, it's, it must be huge. It's changed. It's changed hugely, and and uh, I mean, we were always about mental health, but I think one of the one of the huge benefits that we've seen is how um, not only fun it is being on air, but how much it increases self esteem. A hundred percent. And we. 
we've seen so much growth in people. It's been amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I concur. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've had fun here today. We had um, percussion drums coming in today. And you should have seen Mitch's face just light up. <laughs> Big smiles. When we were playing the drums. It was just so much fun. But I've, yeah. I've been listening and it sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to get him to a class now. But yeah, it is It is about, yes, it is about mental health, but it's about music and it's about everyone, mm. every host that comes in, of course, we're all volunteers here. Every host that comes in has their own uh, passion that they bring in with them. And mm. and that could that that could be anything from heavy metal to um, uh, theatre, goodness knows what. There's probably jazz. there's jazz. There's everything here that you could probably think of, which is which is fantastic. Um, the, the IPL can bring so much diversity um, to to one radio because you hear mm. you, you turn on the radio now and it's either very much an eighties based or very yep. much an alternative based. They, they don't mix it up very much. Where IPL is a bit of everything. They play everything it is. every hour. You know, yeah, the yeah, same thing. The same thing every time. So, I, yeah. and I, I adore being here because it is, um, as you say, it, it, you, your self esteem, your confidence builds up. I've seen people come in here who um, have had or have got autistic. Um, backgrounds and they just they just blossom when they're in here. Oh, I love it here. It's just fantastic. Yeah. So I think I think autism, ADHD, they they come up a lot. I mean, a lot of our presenters have yep. either them or like like parts of it. But I think for us, they're they're um, they're superpowers, you know, especially ADHD, because definitely um, people have got ten million things in their head they're doing at the same time and. And they tend to be quite passionate about certain things. So yes, yeah. It tends to be a positive thing for us. Definitely, definitely a positive thing. And it's just um, – and at the moment, of course, we're, we're in a new building and we mm. are building um, – in the process of building studios and production rooms and goodness – meeting rooms and goodness knows what else. And it's just – it's it's a hu- it's been a huge job. And – Physically and mentally, for you in particular, Trish, it's been a massive job to take on. But it's a lot. It's been a lot of bigger process than I <clears throat> than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so, so would you, if yeah. you if you could go back, would you have done this or stay where we were? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think we could have stayed where we were really. To be honest, we had to move. Um, I think there I, might have been yeah. some things that have done differently, but I think we we had to do what we had to do. So yeah, I th- I personally think that moving here was a, a new start that we all needed. Yeah. Um, I feel that this building is so much brighter and has so much more energy in here than the other one. The other one to me felt very dull and intrusive. It was quite mm. dark for me, but here I feel a lot of a lot of new energy. Everything, like every time you walk in here, there's something new happened. Like you know, one wall yeah. will be painted or or something yeah. going on. I just I now feel that it's going to be an amazing place once, once we finish it. What should we ever do? Were you located near the shopping centre? Yeah, we were. We're next door to. Um, oh, jeez, where were we next? NDIS. Oh yes, yeah. the old Centrelink building. Yeah, old Centrelink building. So it was quite an old building. Yep. Um, and it was already made up, and we just used what was in there. Oh, much. okay. We didn't. Did you move anything in there, Tris, for your own benefit? Or? No. No. Yeah. Okay. No, we didn't change any walls or anything. We yeah. just, um, you know, had the rooms that were already there, made it into the studio. Yeah, and it, and this, it worked this, fine. The, the benefit of this place is that you know we we've constructed the rooms ourselves. Um, based on what you need them for, so yes. you know it's it's kind of it's really what we need. And all the cabling's all fresh and new. And it's whereas, more open. Yeah. Whereas the other place That's we had to use a cabling. That, yeah, thanks to Todd if you're listening, Todd and Rob. And Rob, and of course. Yeah, there's so many people that we could thank, and um, mm. they all know who they are. But honestly, it's, it, it is a massive undertaking, but it's going to be brilliant once it's finished. I can't wait for it to be finished. <laughs> I, I think the main thing for me is the car- when the carpets go down, that will be feel finished. A game changer. Yeah. When I the agree. whole carpet's down, it'll look great. And if anyone has any spare time and they want to come in and do some painting or something, we've <laughs> mm. the doors are always open here at IPL Radio. Whether you want to come in and have a chat or come in and, and help out, is um, the doors are always open. We're all volunteers here. Yep. We give our time voluntary and. Um, 
yeah, if anyone's um, in a in a spot where they need some um, people around them or yep. uh, needing, you know, to be in a place where you feel comfortable and safe. Keep their mind busy. Keep their mind busy, then IPL Radio is a place to be and our, our doors are always open. If they are locked, it's because they are automated locked and there'll be someone there if you lock on the door. Yep. So please, Absolutely. please come in. And um, that's the thing that I, I love about how, how we progress is that we now we've got people from 6 o'clock in the morning to midnight you know, almost seven days a week. Yeah. Um, there's always someone there, so. It's getting busier too. We've yeah. got more people coming in, more new presenters coming. I love it when you get new presenters coming in. It just brings in fresh, mm. fresh feeling, fresh energy. Yeah. And mm. um, I think it's just fantastic. It's it's really, really good. It's exciting. It's just growth, isn't it? And, uh, yeah. It's quite, it's quite funny because I've, I've been looking at some of the other radio stations and um, there's something like 20 online radio stations in WA that oh, really? have, um started since COVID, you know, twenty twenty. Okay. Um and it's I follow most of them and, you know, I know quite a lot of the <clears throat> owners and stuff. Yep. Um and it's yeah, it's it's fun that we've actually got a lot of people that are doing similar stuff to us. Yeah. But I don't similar but IPL has it we're unique. Absolutely unique here. No one does the same as what we very do welcoming. Here. Being a new presenter. Do you feel that? Yeah, I, I felt, do. I feel yeah, welcomed. I felt as soon as I walked through the door that I was at home. Yeah. I felt at home and I always... And, and, is a and good that's boss. what we want. <laughs> I think we, we do we do one thing significantly different to a lot of the other online stations and that's the fact that we have such a diverse amount of presenters, so many presenters, so many volunteers, that we're live so much of the day. Yeah. Um, a lot of the other stations um, take pre-recorded shows oh, from around yeah, the world and, the and play them the and they might only have one of their own shows a week you know so we we are slightly different in that i you know i wouldn't even use a slight we're massively different and for the right reasons yeah for the right mm. reasons for sure no we'd be unique in our own way and it's it's fantastic and you yeah, know there's no comparison honestly from what i see yeah Anything Absolutely. else you want to talk about, uh, yeah. Tris, before you go? No, I, I just want to thank you for having me on your show. Oh, and, I appreciate um, it. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. It's, it's, it's always it's hard to pin exciting. you down. I'm just looking forward to the next four years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, please, please don't move again. <laughs> We're not moving anymore. We're not moving anymore. Yeah, no, it's true. We've got a three-year lease, so we're going to be here at least the next three years. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, Fantastic. Thank goodness for that. No, that's brilliant. I appreciate it. And, yeah, congratulations on your four years officially today. Yeah, congratulations. For um, IPL or Inspire Radio as it was back in 2020. So that's terrific. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day, and I'm going to play a little you bit too. more music. This is Beautiful to Me by Little Birdie. I don't know what this one song is, but we're going to find out. Have a look.